as the mutants go intergalactic. We're doing space missions now. Cool. Dark Phoenix and its killer last trailer may prove that after 20 years of big ups and downs, all the X-Men really need is space. Since 2000, there have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 movies in the X-Men series. And sure, they've done some wibbly wobbly timey-wimey stuff to erase a few mistakes along the way, but if the franchise can weather a storm like this… Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. They can last stand through any apocalypse. Go f yourself. Anyway. Writer-producer Simon Kinberg has been an influential creative X-Force for eight of the films, and Dark Phoenix marks his directorial debut. He first came aboard to co-write the third film, The Last Stand, with Zach Penn, but the production was troubled to say the least. Directors dropped out, deadlines were rushed, and two groundbreaking comic book storylines were crammed into what became the lowest rated film by IMDb fans. Maybe it's time for us to move on. Not everybody heals as fast as you, Logan. And Kinberg has been waiting to take another crack at one of those comic books, The Dark Phoenix Saga, since his Days of Future Past screenplay reset some important story elements, like making Jean Grey not dead anymore. Whoa. Easy, pal. <sighs> some things never change. Some fear that Dark Phoenix may never see the light of day due to the Disney-Fox deal enveloping the mutants into the MCU. But Marvel mastermind Kevin Feige has assured everyone that it'll be a very long time before the X-Men join the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because you are afraid of our gifts. Because we are different. Since Feige says the X-Men aren't in his five-year plan, Kinberg has room to let his new Phoenix breathe. The original saga was told in two parts over 18 issues, so Sophie Turner could potentially return to the role or to outer space if the film takes flight. Who are you? The better question is, who are you? Now, Dark Phoenix isn't the only 2019 X-Men movie, as the new mutants should finally be unleashed in August. The movie shot from July to September 2017 for an April 2018 release, even dropping a trailer in October 2017, but it got pushed over a year for scarier reshoots. You've been through a lot. Get some rest. While the franchise's future may seem uncertain after those two titles, the final Dark Phoenix trailer bodes well for fans of the comic books. Kinberg did have to stray from the original in one respect, since First Class already used the Hellfire Club and their infamous White Queen. You're never going to get anything from me while I'm like this. While Jessica Chastain's mysterious supervillain may include a few Emma Frosty elements, she's more of a gender-flipped mastermind, aka Jason Wingard, a powerful mutant who can alter or erase memories, corrupting Jean Grey and turning her evil. When I lose control, bad things happen. But it feels good. With Dark Phoenix doing the comic books justice, and Deadpool finding his footing with two smash hits that'll definitely spawn a threequel, or that long-promised X-Force team-up, we have faith that these mutants won't take another last stand anytime soon. Are you threatening me? That's right. That would be a bad idea. For more uncanny trending stories, stay tuned to imdb.com slash imdbrief.